Yes, now we'll discuss about the Narma occipitalis. This is posterior view. This is this part is Narma occipitalis. So we'll make a diagram. Here you can see this is position of sagittal suture. This is sagittal suture, and here is this is this is lambert suture. This suture is lambert suture. the bone these two bones are the parietal bone this is parietal bone posterior part of the parietal bone parietal bone posterior part this is parietal posterior part here is parietal foramina this bone is occipital bone squamous or flat part of the occipital bone and this is my spine my spine this is part of temporal bone my spine part of temporal bone Mastoid is breast. It is like breast. So this is mastoid part of temporal bone. So in narva occipitalis, you can see all these bones and sutures. This suture is sagittal suture. This suture from here to here, this is lambert suture. Lambert suture. This is lambert suture. And here you can see this is pyrite between pyrite bone and mastoid. This is this suture, this part is pyrito, pyrito, mastoid suture. So this suture is pyrito. And then here you can see this occipital bone and this is mastoid bone and this part of this suture is from here to here this is occipital mastoid suture this is occipital mastoid suture occipital mastoid suture And here you can see the joining point. This point is point where this lambert suture, parieto occipital suture, and occipital uh, sorry parieto mastoid suture and occipital mastoid suture. Three sutures join. This point is known as ST1. Here, a membrane gap is present that is 
known as posterior lateral continuum. Posterior lateral continuum. Posterior lateral continuum or muscular continuum. At this side, this membranous gap is closed around the 12, 12 month so this this meeting point is known as asteria and in infant life there is a gap known as membranous gap it is known as posterior lateral fontanelle and this fontanelle closed about 12 months of age. 12 months of age, this close. And here, as you know, this point is this is lambda. Meeting point of sagittal suture and lambda suture is lambda. And here, posterior fontanelle is present. It is closed during second or third month of life. During second and third month of life or age. So this is lambda and here is posterior fontanel. This is this is posterior lateral fontanel. This closed around the age of 12 months and this closed around the age of 2 to 3 months. This membranous gap. And the thing here, a foramen is present in the muscular bone. This is muscular foramen. Through this foramen, emissary vein passes and emissary vein communicates with the sigmoid sinus here initially we communicate with the sigmoid sigmoid sinus sigmoid sinus this is dural venous sinus so initially we passing through this communicate with the sigmoid sinus and one artery is passes through this this artery is Branch of occipital artery. This is branch of occipital artery. This branch is meningeal branch of occipital artery. So meningeal branch of occipital passes through. And vein is emissary vein. Vein is emissary vein passes through and communicate with the sigmoid sinus. So this is my stride for me. And the important thing is present here. This is external occipital protuberance. Here one protuberance is present. This is known as external occipital protuberance. Protuberance. This is external occipital protuberance. And from here to margin of the foramen magnum, this external occipital crest is present. So external occipital protuberance, external occipital crest. And from here, transverse reef arises, transverse line arises. This is known as superior nuchal line. This is superior nuchal line. And this line and external occipital protuberance, this forms borderline of the head and neck. Above to this head is present, below to this neck is present. So it is demarcation line between head and neck. Below to this neck, above to this head. This is superior nuchal line. This is superior nuchal line.
न्यूकल मीन्स नेक्स्ट सुपीरियर न्यूकल लाइन इस लाइन इज सुपीरियर न्यूकल लाइन दिस इज सुपीरियर न्यूकल लाइन एंड द लाइन इंफीरियर न्यूकल लाइन इज आल्सो प्रेजेंट एंड इन सम केसेस हाईएस्ट न्यूकल लाइन इज प्रेजेंट दिस इज हाईएस्ट न्यूकल लाइन हाईएस्ट न्यूकल लाइन सो हाईएस्ट न्यूकल लाइन सुपीरियर न्यूकल लाइन एंड इंफीरियर न्यूकल लाइन इज प्रेजेंट यू हैव सीन लेक्चर ऑफ द स्कैल ऑक्सीपिटो फ्रंटरिस मसल ऑक्सीपिटल बेली ऑफ ऑक्सीपिटो फ्रंटरिस मसल इज अटैच विद हाईएस्ट न्यूक्लियर लाइन इफ हाईएस्ट न्यूक्लियर लाइन इज नॉट प्रेजेंट एब्सेंट इन केस ऑफ एब्सेंस ऑफ दिस हाईएस्ट न्यूक्लियर लाइन देन सुपीरियर न्यूक्लियर लाइन गिव्स अटैचमेंट टू द ऑक्सीपिटल बेली ऑफ ऑक्सीपिटो फ्रंटरिस मसल so here and medial side of the superior nuchal line it gives origin the trapezius muscle so trapezius muscle arises from here and medial side and also ligamentum nuchi here ligament ligamentum nuchi here attach So trapezius ligament of nuchi, and in lateral part, in lateral part, there is insertion of sternocleidomastoid muscle in upper part, and in lower part, spinous capsis. In lower part, spinous capsis, spinous capsis, and sternocleidomastoid. So. These are the line and protuberance present on the occipital. And one important thing here is this is most prominent point in the center of this protuberance. This is most prominent point present in the center. This is known as ineon. This point is known as ineon. Just above the inion, here you can see here. Another point is present. That is known as occipital point. This occipital point is important because if you measure occipital point from occipital point to glabella, this is farthest. Point from the glabella. If you use calipers and measure, this is glabella and this is inion. Just above the inion is the occipital point. So from glabella to occipital point, if you measure, this is farthest point of the head. If you see this, here is glabella and. Here is this point is external occipital protuberance, and in center you can see, you can see in center. This is inion, inion. Just above to this, this point. This is farthest point. If you measure by calipers from here to here, this is farthest point. So, this is the occipital point. Occipital point, inion. external occipital protuberance and external occipital crest here you can superior nuchal line this is superior nuchal line and here is inferior nuchal line inferior nuchal line superior inferior nuchal line and here you can see this process is breast like process this is mastoid process here is mastoid process and here the suture is sagittal suture and here is lambdoid suture this is lambdoid suture This is lambda is suture. And this point is here. Lambda is present and posterior fontanelle present up to two or three month of the life here. And here you can see there are under suture. This this suture is parieto mastoid suture. And occipital mastoid suture, parieto mastoid, and occipital mastoid suture here. 
And if you see, here is foramen. If you see this foramen, this is muscular foramen. Through this muscular foramen, here you can see the occipital artery. One branch, that is meningeal branch of occipital artery, passes through this foramen, occipital foramen. And emissary vein passes through this and communicate with the sigmoidal sinus. So this is all about the nerve occipitalis.